it's John. For this lick, we're going to be doing some four note per string tapping stuff. So it's a bit rock and metal techniques, but let's get into it anyway. The foundation of this lick is A minor pentatonic scale. It might look a bit more complicated, but that's it really. So what we're doing, we're starting on our A string, and we're going to play some notes from the A minor pentatonic scale. So A, C, D, and E. And then the top note is G, obviously, so we're going to go string skipping up to the next string. I'll show you how I do this first string first. So, so what we have there is A, C, D, and E. You may notice I'm tapping the last note with my right hand. From there, from the E note, we're going to go up to G, which is string skipping up to the 12th fret of the G string. And then we're going to go G, A, C, and D. So the whole sequence up to now goes like this. But then we're going to go back down, so D, C, A, and G. And then up again. So that whole thing, it's kind of repeating itself, but it sounds fluid and fast, so... Right? So this one goes... So that's where you get the fluency. You can, you can sound fast, you can do it all day long, it'll sound... Very winger, or whatever you like. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to string st skip again up to the E string. So we're going to go... So our 12th fret of the E string is our E note. And the only extra note I'm adding is a B because I like the sound of a minor ninth. But then I finish it. So I'm going to use on this string, we'll go. The essence of it is that if it's minor pentatonic. So it's E, G, A, and C. But what I do, I go up to the B, which gives us our minor ninth sound, because the B is a ninth note. Then back down to the E. And then up to the C. So that whole string. Okay, the whole lick, really slow, sounds like this. And you could end it with a bent note up to A or whatever. Okay. Zoom in and look at the left hand and see what that's doing now. All right. Okay. So what we're going to do with the left hand, this one is going to control the fluidity of the lick. So what we have is A on our A string, 12th fret. Then we're going to go up to the C, which is the 15th fret. Then D, which is our 17th fret. For the guys who want to do the second thing, you can, but I do first finger, third finger, fourth. Then tapping on with my right hand. For the G string, what we're going to do is 12th fret, so G note, then A, then C, and then our tap note is going to be D. Then back down. up so you're going up it then descending back then coming up again so that whole sequence from the start and again then we're going to string skip up to the E note of our E string on the 12th fret then you're going to go E G A and up to the B, which is this minor 9 note. It gives the sound of a minor 9 chord. Just 
gives a more articulate sound. So then we're going to go down. It's the same pattern. 12, 15, 17, 19. Then 19, 17, 15, 12. Then we're going to end on the C note at the top. 20th fret. Then I bend up from the 15th fret to get our A sound. So the whole like slow goes like this. And once again. It's kind of, I mean, I think it sounds better to play it on your neck pickup. But for the guys who want to just rock it out on your bridge, go for it. Sounds cool enough. Okay, hope you enjoy that one.